The immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm celebrating an anniversary. 20 years ago today, Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, debuted in theaters. Man, gosh, I feel old now. <laughs> Honestly, it was a pretty disappointing movie to many Star Wars fans, especially people that grew up with the original trilogy. But there was some decent video games made from the mediocre movie, and one of them was Star Wars Episode I, Jedi Power Battles. In this video today, I'm going to showcase the PlayStation 1, the Dreamcast, and even the Game Boy Advance version and talk about them. Are these still fun or should we forget them? Let's check it out. All right, here's the physical copies of the games I'm going to be showing some gameplay footage of today. And this is Jedi Power Battles for PlayStation. This is the Greatest Hits version. And here's the manual. It's in pretty nice shape. Your typical budget release manual, black and white. Here's the Dreamcast version. And here's the Game Boy Advance cart. I just have a loose cart. And I want to show some gameplay footage. Let's check it out. All right, this is Star Wars Jedi Power Battles for the PlayStation 1. I am playing this on a PlayStation 3 without any filters or anything. Just wanted to show it to you. And this is the game that many of you played. This is the same, this is the version that probably the majority of people played when it came out. It was, uh, it was, it, it was one of many Star Wars games that came out back in the day. You know, what's funny about Star Wars games is that they, there used to be a ton of them and then you know it just seems like this last 10 years we've had a trickle of Star Wars games so anyways this is uh, the one thing to know about the PlayStation version is there's no difference between the Jedi and easy mode and so a couple things so it doesn't really matter what mode you choose the difficulty is the same and so yeah the PlayStation version is all right I think uh, between the Dreamcast and the PlayStation 1, there are some differences. Mostly is that the graphics do look a lot better on the Dreamcast version. But here you go. This is the PlayStation version. It sold relatively decent. I have the Greatest Hits version of this, so it, it sold enough to do that. Load times are longer on the PlayStation 1 version. I like playing as Obi-Wan Kenobi. The game does have various objectives and you know it's a, it's a cross of action and platform. And so this is this is the game. You can block shots. By pressing L1. <laughs> Grabbing various power-ups. There's a score on this. Not bad. This version's not bad. Uh, you know, I think I think PlayStation 1 games, you know, don't age as well as some people think. And that's why I think that, you know, PlayStation 2 was so welcome. Is that it just added kind of... A nice smoothing effect to graphics that the PlayStation 1 often didn't have. What's nice about the PlayStation 3 is that you can put on uh, a, a you know, filter, which makes these uh, graphics a little bit more tolerable. That's not bad, though. It's doable. 
All right, this is Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, and this is the better version between the two. There's several differences between the Dreamcast version and the PlayStation version. The, the big differences are frame rate, graphics, there is an extra character you can unlock. There's an extra mode. There's a training and training versus mode in the Dreamcast version. Those are the big differences. This is the best version though. Hands down, I recommend playing this one. Just showing you a little bit of the differences between the graphics. So playing on a Dreamcast, I had this back in the day. I purchased it from a GameStop, and you know, it's a pretty decent game. This is the best version of it. All right. As you can see, the Dreamcast one just looks a lot better. And, you know, for me, graphics do matter. You know, the, the, the PlayStation with its blocky early 3D graphics just didn't cut it for me usually. And so this one has aged a little bit better. I actually thought the control was a little bit easier with the Dreamcast controller on this game. Uh, fond memories. Fond memories of playing this game and the two-player option is always a blast. This is a great kind of action brawler. So here it is. Jedi Power Battles for the Game Boy Advance. This is a totally different game than its bigger brothers on the PlayStation and Dreamcast. It's an isometric game and, you know, it it tries to follow the movie, it has big levels, and the option to play as Darth Maul. You just enter the code in the resume game. And I just wanted to show you some of the gameplay of this isometric platformer. jump and swing your lightsabers and you can do different moves you can block and deflect it back at the battle droids Nice animation. Actually, don't think this is a bad game whatsoever. It's just a little bit different than the uh, bigger versions, but you know, one of the better games from a mediocre movie. I'm not a huge Episode One fan. It's not the Star Wars I grew up with. You know, uh, I was 23 when it came out, and you know, I. I you know there's a lot of problems and you know people are gonna have different opinions of what they think about Star Wars episode one so of these three versions of the game the Dreamcast is my pick due to the extra modes and extra character that you can unlock I had a lot of fun making this video what are your thoughts have you played this game or is this the first time you knew about it comment below as I always love to hear your stories and comments I try to read as many as possible Thank you for the ongoing support. Also, if you want to support me further, I do an exclusive video for Patreon supporters every month for as little as a dollar. Thank you so much. This is the Immortal John Hancock.
you take care.